hadn't come back, you'd be in some deep shit. I was just screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet, that's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all gonna have to go on the land. Well, that sounds good. It'll be like when we were kids, out on adventures. So we're adults now, huh? Hey, what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. Hey, that's mean. Oh, are we gonna have that damn dream again tonight? Are you all right? And you know I love you. Don't say stuff like that. Hey there. Think we can chew the fat a little? Hey. I wanted to see you. Tell you something. Hmm? I'm going to marry Anna. I'm throwing away my family and company and everything. What? Really? We're eloping, rather. We're leaving tonight, after this. I see. You guys seem happy. My life is so hard, as if taking care of him wasn't hard enough. It's okay. We have love. Ugh, men are so stupid. That nightmare is going to continue. But I think that's okay. Why? I wouldn't mind nightmares anyway. Don't worry. They'll all end tonight. It feels like it will really be that way when you say it. I hate to say this, but I really look up to you. Thank you, Vincent. You got mail. Is there anywhere you'd like to live? I don't care where. Somewhere where there aren't many other women. Anna. Oops, Vincent heard me. But it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much for saving him. Yeah, Vincent's a really dependable guy. Ever since he was a kid. Thank you, Vincent. You got mail. remembered how you saved me in the nightmare. I talked a lot about myself. I think I just wanted somebody to listen to me. I'm so weak. These events aren't going to end naturally. The police can't do anything. This is when the mass media shines. But I'm too afraid to write about it. I think it's because I'm afraid to admit that I have the power to save people through my words. Yeah, well, I'll look forward to whatever you write. Think I can get an interview with you one day? The unnamed hero? <laughs> Stop it. It's embarrassing. Hey, it's you. Sit. I've been waiting for you. I'm glad I'm able to see your face today. Is something bothering you? <laughs> this is my last drink. My last time here. Why is that? I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm going to find the criminal who shot my wife, but not to kill him. I'm going to find him and make him atone. You see, before I only thought about taking out my hatred and anger on him by killing him. I was blaming him for all my sins, too. Thanks to you, I realized that I was being weak. So this isn't much, but it's my advice to you. Hold on to what's important to you. The more important it is to you, the easier it is for it to disappear. Like a dream. Yeah, I understand. I owe you one. Actually, two. One for saving me from myself, and one for saving me from the nightmare. Thanks. Good evening. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You look very handsome today. Oh, really? A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. I wonder where you'll end. I wonder what you'll gain. What else is there? Victory and a future. Victory and a future. Of course, us too. Huh? Goodbye, Mr. Man of Legend. May you be blessed. It's time for us to say goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hey, 
hands. What was that just now? We saw you grabbing boss. Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but if something's bothering you, let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but the sake is getting to me really quickly. Hey, don't overdo it. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? Well, no, nothing. Huh? Something Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means... Never mind. Well, I'll be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, what are you saying? Hey, don't look at me like I've lost it. Can kind a of guy try to sound cool sometimes? You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors that are supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that gullible. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, then. This far. Tonight, I'll escape again. <sighs> I'm just fighting for me tonight. I'll end this once and for all. It seems your glass is empty. You must really like Cuba Libres. Here's a basic fact about cocktails for you. The term cocktail is exactly what it sounds like. A cock's tail. Why is it called that? No clear etymology exists for the word. But here's a famous story. A long time ago, an English sailor asked a young Mexican boy stirring alcohol in a glass what the name of the liquor was. The boy thought he was asking about the name of the stirring stick, so he answered, Cola de gallo, a cock's tail feather. And this is said to have spread as the name of mixed drinks in general. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? But who knows what's true? Since you have had at least one cocktail a night and learned fascinating facts, you will now be given the title of Cocktail Connoisseur. And that was all of the trivia on cocktails. Please continue to enjoy the rest of the story. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. Class isn't here, so nothing too fancy, okay? Rum and cola. Uh, sake. Please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Don't get shit-faced, all right? Boss is in here, so it's all in the house. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You've got your game face on. Sign of a great man. Yeah, I have something I have to finish. I know you. You're probably doing something that isn't worth the reward. It's nice of you to help us out when you've got your hands full already. You guys? Yeah, I know. You saved me. I see. Guess what? I think I'm gonna get married and start a family. I've always secretly dreamed of loving somebody. Of being loved. Me too. I'm gonna start over with my wife. Great. I think I can be a real man now and come out of my father's shadow. Hey, dude, I'm gonna keep living my life, too. It's all thanks to you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Hey, let's change the subject. It's embarrassing. You never know who might be listening. Even walls have ears these days. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've got to apologize about your wife. Ah, I'm not listening. Everyone makes mistakes, and everyone has the right to start over. Boss. I'm turning my life around in so many ways. It's all thanks to you. I'm grateful, too. Thank you. It's all because of you. Thank you. It's the unadulterated truth. After this is all over, I'm going to marry my girlfriend. I should buy the ring so I can do it the moment I'm ready. I'm 
been done drinking for a while. The next time I drink will be when I visit Sophie's grave and tell her that I caught her murderer. I owe you one. Actually, two. One for saving me from myself, and one for saving me from the nightmare. Thank you. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Really? And who is it? It was me. <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Was there anyone who believed it? <sighs> you. Well, I never believed it in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. What? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay. I hope so. I'm finally going to fight him. I'm not going to lose. I'll win, and I'll live to see tomorrow. Hey, how much of what you were talking about tonight is true? You said you'd be fighting? <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone, he needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. some faith in me. You'll see me tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon, then. of the great trials is a road split into three paths. Beware the mystery blocks and tackle these stairs with all your wit and skill. Hey, Mutton! If you're behind this, then you can hear me, right? Say something! <laughs> of course I can hear you. I can see you. And your underpants. <laughs> Welcome to my realm. Not like this. It's admirable that a mere human could come this far. Alright. Alright, I got it. I'm used it. You can afford to kill you immediately when I'm the one who bring you here. Now, show me those skills that helped you survive this war. Now, come down. Got it. I'll take this. Alright, I got it. Oh. Alright. 
But this is just the beginning. It'd be boring for you to die here, wouldn't it? Well, give me your best shot. 